All right, y'all, we're here with another episode of Guild Wars 1 playthrough. We are in the Dragon's Lair, which is technically still in the Crystal Desert. So I, I didn't mean to, but I kind of lied with that other that other episode where I said we were finished with the Crystal Desert after Dunes of Despair and Augury Rock. We still have one more left. The Crystal, or the, uh, the Dragon's Lair. I feel like this is, yeah, I guess this is a real place in the desert. Looks kind of rocky here. Uh, this mission's kind of interesting. We are going to meet the dragon glint for the first time. I changed my skill bar because we are going to attempt the bonus of this mission. <laughs> and I need a lot of like domination, damaging, interrupting, anti-enchantments. <clears throat> We're also bringing the signet of capture. Even though uh, I know that the mesmer skill, elite skill in this mission is pretty... In my opinion kind of trash but we'll cap it anyway so we'll have actually two elite skills later on in this mission um we're gonna grab some hinchies we need our standard healers whoops i might grab him uh but let's grab the healers first and our our uh support necro um we want to avoid melee Melee teammates in this. I think we'll go with something like this. Just all casters. Oh, whoa, we can have eight people. What? We can have eight people from this mission. Awesome. Great. Uh, then let's grab the archer. And I guess the fighter. We don't really want melee. Or later on in this mission, I don't think. But let's try it out. This is such a cool mission, in my opinion. It's one of the coolest missions in Prophecies, I think. Even though it is a bit tedious. So we have to we have to fight like one, two, three, four, five, six versions of these this dragon glint, and each one has a different uh, atmosphere or kind of global condition. That's oh, we need to talk to this guy first. And each enemy is notice matching with the pro uh, profession list so we need to defeat we need to defeat six bosses to get to glint the dragon oh that's exactly what he was saying i think very cool hey i'm really pumped for having eight team members i didn't know we could have a full team member in this oh okay so we're already I think the first one is the monk, maybe? The monk boss? Oops. And while while we're in this area, we suffer from degeneration, so... That's just great. We're trying not to aggro everyone, and we need to try and hurry up through here so we... Don't take too much damage. We do a lot of damage, it seems like. I guess these guys want to fight. A little interrupt there. I'm pretty sure this Wastrel wor Wastrel's Worry is going to come in handy when we fight Glint, actually. So that's why I'm bringing it. Even though we, our main damaging item or skill right now is going to be Chaos Storm. We, we seriously melt them right now. And we're loving this mantra of recovery still because it gives us cooldown reduction. Very fast. Very fast CDR. What the cool kids call cooldown reduction now is CDR. I don't know if you guys knew that. Ooh. I probably should have sold. Okay, we still have some inventory. Prismatic, that's for Elementalist. 
Okay, we're gonna go wide around here. Eh, let's just fight them. There's only two of them. We should melt them pretty quickly. This stage doing. They moved up on us. That's not cool. Back at this one first. Very nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first boss. Yeah, Ma Facet of Light. That's a monk boss. Actually, the monk boss here has a really nice monk uh, elite skill. I was kind of tempted to get the uh, monk secondary just to pick it up, but we're we're still keeping the necromancer secondary for no reason at all. We're kind of full on on our uh, mesmer mode. Mesmer is kind of the strongest class in the game, I think, damage wise. Doesn't seem like it yet. Very high damage. So this Wastrel's Worry should just melt him. Yeah, look at that. We're just gonna melt him very quickly. Batter his enchantments too. Just easy mode for us. I keep spamming it. I was probably spamming it a little fast there, to be honest. I should have waited a little bit in between uh, to make sure it was proccing correctly. All right, one boss down. What's this one? This is Facet of Nature. So this is the this is the Ranger one, and we're slow. Perfect for them to just pick us off from a distance. We're not gonna stand for this though. Oh, our stupid henchman. Oh, I think we're dead. That's way too many enemies. Let's hope they group up. There we go. I'm gonna do decent damage. Oh, we're okay. Wastrel's worry just explodes. You get a good proc of Wastrel's worry and they are done. Massive damage. They don't have any healers, so that's why we are okay there. I need to be stop. I need to stop being so worried all the time. I'm too used to being weak, but we are strong. Party of eight now. I don't stand a chance. Uh, is this the right way? I think so. I think we need to go. Kind of taking this round way. Yeah, we just need to go follow along here, I think. So far, this is easier than I remember. And I think they're affected by uh, the domain of slow also, which is actually in our favor because we picked all ranged henchmen. So we can kind of melt them before they get close to us. Okay. Let's take out this... lure them back a little bit. Stefan! Kind of stuck with Stefan. <laughs> Maybe should have just brought seven henchmen, not the not the last, not the eighth one. He does have uh, watch yourself, which is nice. Party wide, can't be disenchanted. A good skill to have. Hey, Storm, doing well.
Just pretty much using these two skills, Mantra of Recovery and Weichel's Worry. Just so, it's, it's like, because of the uh, recharge casting time plus my fast casting, like, Weichel's Worry recharge time is instant, basically. What we want, all right. You guys, I mean, we don't need to really be careful. We're doing fine. Nice interrupt there. Man, so much damage. I feel like we hit like some power spike. We can even put Wachel's Worry on several different enemies at a time. Just procs like crazy. All right, we know the drill. Just put same skill on them over and over. Oh, it's not procking. We need to wait longer, I guess. There it goes. Oh, he doesn't have the... Uh, he doesn't have the... Hex reduction. Okay, though. All right, second one down. Next is Chaos. Now this is the Mesmer one. This one's really annoying. I can't remember why, but it's Mesmer, so it has to be annoying, right? What are we working with here? Spider, Crystal spiders and... Oh, it doesn't say. Nothing going on. What are they... Oh, I remember this one. This one has like some there's some environmental thing here. Got to worry about. Could have interrupted that. Could have interrupted that too. Oh my goodness. I keep forgetting about stupid Stefan. He just... He just aggroed all of them. But look at this damage is about to pop up. Look at that. Crazy. Might have doomed us. Hey, they're casting spells a little too quickly. They're using Hexbreaker, so kind of countering us a little bit. It's all good, though. They don't have any healers, so the longer the battle goes on, it's in our favor. Oh, come on. I think the spell's casting time's all longer or something. Is that what's going on? Okay. I need to remember to flag my henchmen to stay back. All right. I'm not going to forget that again. I've forgotten that like 10 times already. Yeah, the enemies here are also only level 20. So that's another reason why they seem easier than... The, like, even the open desert enemies are, like, level 22. These guys being level 20, I feel like we're just ripping through them like paper. Breaking them, breaking them like crystals. They just shatter hand, hand, enchantment and put hexbreaker. They don't really have any damaging skills. Very easy. Not sure. Maybe the maybe the developers wanted us to feel super strong after getting ascended. Uh, I mean, they gave us the full party of eight. We're ascended now. Like, like they're wanting us to feel strong. 
We have uh, elite skills. Whoa, get out of there. I do like the illusion build that we were running, the like, the generation one, but I have to say, seeing the yellow numbers pop up is a little, a little bit more satisfying. I feel like, more impactful. Not denying that the degeneration is pretty strong, especially since, you know, you, you can cycle through the enemies and then their health just drains, it counters a lot of... It's effect its effectiveness is pretty much good against everyone, but like domination just has the ability to hard counter certain builds. There we go. All right, we're gonna get another. Elite. Do not want to proc. I need to wait for diversion to go off first. Oh, what's melting us? Got you, buddy. Going down. You, he's got the, uh, he's got that, um, what do you call it? Use diversion on him. Yeah, you like it, buddy. Okay. Can use Mantra of Recall. We got two, we got two elites now. I guess Mantra Recall, it is pretty good as, uh, it, it cover, it's really good for covering an enchantment, I guess. But you just put it on, if they shatter it, you get, you immediately get your energy back. Okay, I'm coming around on it. That was the hardest fight yet, though. I'm being honest. Right, this is the warrior. No, this is darkness. What's oh, this is the death nova one. We get energy degeneration, and anytime someone dies, they explode. <laughs> we gotta be real careful here. Look at that, 158. They're using Fury. Frenzy, I mean. So, does double damage. Whenever my Wastel's Worry procs, it almost one-shots them. Brilliant. Try and pull... Height them a little bit here. You don't want to die this far into the mission, that's for sure. And we have Shatter Enchantment, so they're always enchanted. So that means, I think... I think I can just always cast Shatter Enchantment and get that huge damage. AoE damage. Oh, it's not AoE. Weird, I thought it was. Well, let's, let's test that theory. I'm just gonna start with... Enchantment. Yeah, it does the damage. Oh, it gets rid of it too. Oh, it comes back. Automatically. Oh, I'm, I guess I'm just going to solo the rest of this. Huh. There we go. Fight it a bit. Getting these jade mandibles, though. Got three already.
Doesn't do that much damage. It's the poison that's annoying, but yeah, it's not too much damage. Huge damage. You look, boom, energy battery. Right after the battle, right, right as the battle was coming to an end, I got that energy reset. Okay, Mantra of Recall. I'm coming around. We do tons of damage. We actually hard counter this uh, region. Once he casts Frenzy, wait for it. Come on, use it. There. Boom. Insta dead. these guys out we don't have a re repeat of that last fight need to fight a make sure we're when we fight the facets it's a one-on-one -on -one battle this i almost waited to capture this one because he's got a pretty cool elite called uh grint's balance and you gotta be careful because once his health is low and he casts it like lower than yours he'll cast it and he, and it uh basically does the difference of our health in damage i don't know if i explained it that well but it's a pretty tricky skill to deal with nice blocked his healing all right let's just let's do it Keep it going. Wastrel's worry. Melting him. And he's done. Forgotten seal. It's a random drop. That's so many of them. Alright, last. Well, or two more left. Oh. Lost my sound there. Stupid sensitive microphone. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, it's back. Quick fix. If you accidentally unplug your your speakers or microphone or whatever and the sound goes out, you just need to you just need to push those two buttons. Optimize audio for headphones and mute in background. Just click and unclick those. Sound comes right back. Okay, what does this region do? Doesn't really say anything. Ah, uh, okay, this one has. Yeah, I remember this. It's got these like danger zones. Even though these guys are big and scary, you gotta remember that they're just elementalists. Nothing too scary about them. They're squishy. Okay. So this does like Firestorm, Maelstrom. It's a bunch of AoE, random AoE damage. But if you guys can quickly come through here. Thank you. The Arcanists, however, are very annoying. I think Dunham has all. We got a lot of interrupts, I think. Between Dunham, me, Orion... Stefan, we have tons of interrupt. I think I think we're going to do pretty well on this bonus. As long as we can interrupt Glint. We're in business. But I'm pretty famously horrible at interrupts, so... I need to stop recasting Mantral Recall, I just realized. When I recast it... It uh, does not give me the energy. So I need to just set it, forget it, 
get the energy back. It's good to know. Careful, guys. Um, what you guys doing? <laughs> Great. Kind of counter these guys though. That was that was kind of scary. My henchmen almost just wanted to end themselves in that in this little area effect place. I'm glad I can just flag them down. Oops, wrong skill. Okay. There was a cool sound effect. It's like they, they, I can kind of imagine what they used to make that sound effect. It sounds like two, like, plates of rock sliding against each other. Go ahead, cast kinetic armor. No problem. Close. Let's bring them towards us. They're not gonna move. And let's just make sure we move through the death pit. Alright, almost done. Elementalist, warrior, and then Glint. I remember this mission being super hard too. I was kind of scared of it, honestly. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop trying to get Wastrel's Worry to work. They're spamming too many skills. Well, that one went off. Right. Let me kite these arcanists. Or try to. We'll kind of be in trouble if we fight them together. I don't know if there's any avoiding it. Oh, we got it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I kind of wish I would have... Eh, it's okay. This elementalist elite is really good too. I think it's called Thunderclap. Pretty decent air magic elite. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. No. Need to dodge that. Alright, I guess I just need to solo these guys. Alright, we can fight him now. Whoops. Melt him really quick. Boom. Alright, last facet. Let's not get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. Um we got we got ten energy boot or uh morale boost. Oh, what is this? Everyone's like combined. Got all the enemies here. 
Is that it? Is that why? Is that what the trick is to this one? It's just every class, every uh, profession enemy combined. Mesmer's elementalist. I mean, honestly, if it were just a bunch of warriors, it wouldn't be that scary. Oh, I just remember. Okay, so it knocks everyone down periodically. So anti-knockdown would be good for this section. Let's wait. Let's get knocked down and then start the battle after the knockdown. Genius, am I right? It looks like, yeah, it's about one minute between knockdowns. Oh, I'm still using the arrow. The bow, I mean. Let's switch. Sometimes when you switch, it doesn't really switch. Like, if you're in the middle of an animation, you can't switch weapons. So you have to wait until the animation is totally completed. I've made the mistake of, like, thinking I've switched and then actually didn't. Kind of annoying. Loaded him. Alright. Getting nervous for fighting Glint, but the cool thing about the bonus of this one is I think I think the bonus you can complete the mission first and then attempt the bonus, I believe. Hope that's the case. Kind of making me second guess whether or not I should attempt the bonus, but Let's just do it. Let's just go for it anyway. Yeah, I think the, the the developers realized, like, having just only warriors would have made this last area way too easy. They're like, okay, we need to mix it up a little bit. Put it on both of them. You're useless. Knockdown's annoying though. Okay. Facet of strength. He's got gladiators defense or something like that. Not a bad one. No match for just spamming Wastrel's Worry, though. That's just so crazy. It's just so much damage. Alright, that's it. We beat it. It was almost 800 years ago when I foresaw the Flame Seeker prophecies. You have ascended and awakened the gift of true sight that lay dormant within you. The moment has finally come. You are the chosen I have been waiting for. While you've been in the desert, the rest of the world has changed. Let me show you. As you know, 
Those who you once called friends have become enemies. Their souls are darkened by a deep secret. The unseen gods they speak of are nothing more than a terrible and fearful race of spellcasters known as the Mursat. As I have foreseen, the Mursat will meet their demise at the hands of the Chosen. Their stranglehold on the lands of Krita and beyond will be broken. For years, the Mursat and their human disciples have hunted down the Chosen, murdering them to prevent the prophecies from coming to pass. But you have slipped through their fingers, and your friends now pay the price. The one called Marcus betrays them as he betrayed you, and if you do not hurry to their aid, none will survive. Many have already been taken captive. Their souls will be reaped upon one of the five bloodstones, just as the Chosen you witnessed being slaughtered in the Maguma jungle. If this happens, no magic in this world or any other will bring them back. Of the future, this you must know. Your story does not end in the mountains. Your true destiny will lead you to the west, to the Ring of Fire. Seek the flame, for within it lies the power to destroy both good and evil. This portal will take you to the Shiver Peak Mountains. I know you have questions, but there are some things you must know and others that you must discover upon your journey. Go now. Save your friends. They will not last through the night. All right, so what we can do, we can start the bonus, and if we're starting to fail, I can run through that portal and complete the mission. Let's try that. Oh, the portal disappears. Oh, so it's we just have to we just have to do it. There's no escape. We have to beat her. Is that right? Well, you see here, Glance, you're no match for me. I need to save my interrupt for. Oh, Jagged crystal, crystal Skin. He got it off. That's what I needed to interrupt, actually. H. Okay, I have to interrupt Jagged Crystal Skin. Or Crystal Hibernation. That's what it is. Lena's down. Keep spamming Wachel's Worry. I think we're okay. I think we got it. We did it. Bonus done. We beat Glint. Nice. I'm gonna take this dragon egg. <laughs> awesome. And we complete it. Drachnar's Forge. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. We made it to Drox. It took us 32 episodes. But we're here in Drachnar's Forge. Such a great place to come to. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're here. That is awesome. How did we get here? Like a boat here. That's cool. 
Woo! All right. Um, I might, I might uh make a video, separate video. Maybe at the start of the next video, I'll make of getting our max armor. But yeah, this is a good place to end. We made it to Drachnar's Forge. Huge milestone. We're basically in the last leg of the rate of the of the of the prophecies campaign. We started in Ascalon. We made it all the way around here, Crystal Desert, and now we're in the capital city of the southern Shiver Peaks. Very, very cool. All right, if you've made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please keep staying tuned uh, And as we finish the last couple missions. Three or four missions? No, no, I think there's more than that. Maybe five or six missions left. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the mid video here, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.